Hello, I'm Garrett Godfrey, and welcome to the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast, where I'll help you find and fund the music you love. Now, this is episode six. It's a special worship-focused episode recorded Friday, March 13th, 2015. I hope you enjoy the show and find something you can fund. Okay, so let's get right to it. We're going to be looking at some current campaigns by Mike Lee, Bonner and Amber Wolf, Janae Shirley, Suthia Sam, Ron Benson, and Scott Fontenet. First up is Mike Lee from Wayne, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, he's, his Kickstarter campaign is for an acoustic worship EP. He's looking for $5,500, and he's almost halfway there. So over here on the right, it'll show his goal and where he is. Almost halfway there. He's still got two weeks to go. Um, this campaign ends... March 29th. Let's watch a little bit about his project. In the fall, we got back together with the people at Ed Cash Studio and started working on um, a different kind of project. Simple songs written out of moments of remembrance and thanksgiving to the Lord for who He is and, and for what He's done and for what we've had an opportunity to see Him do over the last year. We're calling it All I Need. As I said before, um, we're independent musicians, and so what that means is that what we do isn't possible without the love and support of people like you. If you'd like to be a part of this journey with us, there are a couple of ways that you can support us. One, you could pre-order this project and give you the opportunity to hear this before anybody else hears it. And two, pass this video along to your friends. Share it with somebody who might have interest in coming alongside of us in this journey. Making music costs money, so we're asking for your help as we try to raise $5,500. That's the remaining cost of duplication, promotion, and distribution for this project. We have some really cool rewards lined up for you guys. We have a t-shirt, or we'll come play a show at your house. Just check them out on the side. We're so excited to share this music with you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Be blessed. To my madness, give me joy instead of sadness. But sometimes I forget, sometimes I forget. Now, that music there at the end is a sample of one of the songs that will be on the EP. And as you scroll down on the right, you'll see the reward section, and it's uh, ten dollars or more for a digital download of the EP. You get it a month early. Um, for $25, you get a signed physical copy, and you still get that digital download a month early. And there are some other options there as well. If this sounds like something you can get behind, hit up the show notes for the link to the project. If you back it, or even if you just want to help them get more visibility, post about it on their Facebook and Twitter, spread the word, and uh, let people know what Mike Lee's doing with his worship EP. Okay, so next up is Bonner and Amber Wolf. They're a husband and wife from Abbotsford, Canada. Let's see what they have to say about their product and hear a bit of their singing. As we've been crafting our songs, it's been really exciting to see them take shape and take form in ways that we've never seen them before. Our heart for when we're in the studio is to craft them in a way that captures the tone and the feel of what started between us and him. We believe this album is going to cause people to have an encounter with their father's love and his kindness in new ways and be taken directly to his heart. We believe these songs are going to bring people to a place of complete rest in their relationships with Him and from that place that they're going to be able to respond with thankfulness and praise for who He is and for what He's done. Recording this album is our way of building an altar in the place where God's heart has met with our hearts. Where He has come and just poured His love on us and we've been able to pour our love right back out on Him. These songs are a reminder for all of us of his unconditional love for us. And they're going to... So, let's look and see what the rewards have for uh, Bonner and Amber. They've got $5 gets you an acoustic song. Uh, 15 for a pre-ordered digital copy of the EP. And uh, for 30 you get that in advance. And 
access to uh, early cuts of the songs. So um, 35 for a CD and that digital copy and the access to the early versions of the songs. If this sounds like something you'd be into, hit up the show notes for the links to the Kickstarter page, watch their whole video. If you back it, or even if you just want to help them get more visibility, post on Facebook, tweet about it, spread the word, and uh, let people know what uh, Bonner and Amber are up to. Um, Next up, next is a worship leader, Janae Shirley. And uh, she's a worship leader down in Florida. She's working on an EP of worship music. Let's see what she says about her project. And so I desire to put these songs onto um, a recording that is not just GarageBand um, and actually does it justice and takes people before the Lord in a place of being exposed and undone. So what I need from you guys is your help with uh, the help of Kickstarter. Kickstarter is actually a crowdfunding platform that um, provides a way for people to raise money for different art projects. Um, So the way that it works is I have 30 days to raise $5,500. If I don't meet my goal, I actually don't get the money. But if I meet my goal, then I get to take the money and go to Nashville and record an EP. Um, If you can't give, it would be awesome to have your support in sharing the link on Facebook, sharing the link on any of your social media, um, your prayer, and yeah, your support. I'm really looking forward to recording this EP and just seeing what the Lord does with it and just seeing what kind of sounds are created out of it and the fruit of what is to come. So I can't wait for you guys to come along this journey with me and thank you so much for watching. Now you'll notice on the uh, bio section here, she's got a link to SoundCloud. And if you go to her SoundCloud page, she does have some samples of some songs. We're going to take a listen to one of the songs here. It is you that I seek Pour out your holy fire As I lay at your feet Cause I can't take my eyes off of you So Lord I come with a So she's looking for $5,500. She's almost halfway there. So up here it's showing where uh, where she is right now with her goal. She's at uh, just over $2,200. Um, it also will tell you when it, when it closes down here under this little back of the project. So this is through April 1st. So she's still got uh, almost three weeks to go. Um, but it's pricey. So if you scroll down to the rewards, uh, $25 gives you a uh, hugs, prayers, and love from her because we are the bomb, uh, and updates via email. Uh, $50 for a link to the download when it comes out. So, uh, but if this looks like something you're into, um, definitely check out the show notes for the links to the Kickstarter page or SoundCloud page. If you want to back it, or even if you just want to help her get more visibility for it, uh, post it on Facebook and tweet about it and spread the word. Um, let folks know what uh, what Janae Shirley is up to. So, next up is Sathya Sam from Ontario, Canada, and he's a worship pastor and has been leading worship for the past five years and is working on this new worship album. So let's see what he's got to say about his project. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this little video. I'm Jonathan Clark, worship pastor at Catch Fire Church, and here with me is Sophia Sam. Hello. Uh, we're going to talk about an exciting project that you've got coming. That's right. Tell us about it. Well, um, it's been on my heart for a long time to do an album. Uh, I think doing an album is something I always thought I would do kind of down the road. 
but in November 2013, God really put it on my heart to start thinking about it. So I spent the last year just thinking about it, uh, trying to figure out the logistics of it, and, and feeling if this is actually something I want to do. And I finally reached that point where, yeah, I'm ready to, ready to make a project and do an album. Very cool. I'm excited to hear it. Um, so Sophia, where, where would you say these songs come from? Um, a lot of them are just birthed out of uh, either corporate worship. Uh, I was the worship director at a church in the Niagara area for about four and a half years. So lean worship there, um, spontaneous moments, having little choruses and little melodies here and there, um, building off of those. And then a lot of them also just come out of the secret place, just my own times with God, uh, worshiping on my own or worshiping, you know, just like in a small group with friends. Um, and, and all of it, I think, has always just been out of the moment or the season of my life, those kinds of things, just trying to trying to capture like you know what's going on what God is saying to me and what I'm trying to say back to God awesome yeah that sounds fun okay and uh, what kind of style do you reckon you're gonna be going for with this um, project? so my major my major musical influences are Matt Redman Jesus Culture Bethel um, and even you know before I even started listening to those guys I always listen to a lot of rock so uh, I'll definitely have that kind of rock flair uh, but maybe something a little more on the softer side okay. the adult adult contemporary kind of feeling Very so he also sent me a rough demo of one of his songs. Let's take a listen to that. This love is deep and high and wide. Through by the spear that pierced his side. Came for the greatest to the Jesus us without tears Your love, open my eyes Your love is the best thing in my life It's your love I'm living for Your love, open my eyes Your love is the best thing in my life It's your love I'm living So he's looking for uh, $15,000, just a little over $15,000. He's about 20% there. Um, he has another month to go, though, on his Indiegogo campaign, so plenty of time. This campaign ends April 13th. Now, this is a, a flexible funding campaign on Indiegogo, which means that even if he doesn't make the goal, he can still collect what's pledged and, uh, and put that towards the album. Uh, if this sounds like something you might be into, hit up the show notes for the links to the page. And uh, if we go down and look at the rewards, um, they're, they're hefty. Um, but uh, definitely check it out. And, uh, and you know, you can put any amount in there to, uh, to help out what's going on. So um, if it seems like something you're into, check out the show notes, uh, hit the page. And uh, if you just want to help him get more visibility, post it on Facebook, tweet about it, and spread the word. Now next up is, let me get his page open here, Ron Benson from Columbus, Ohio. He's working on a five-song EP of original worship songs and maybe a couple covers. He's a pastor, singer, songwriter, and worship leader. He's got a single out now for download over at Noise Trade. So uh, let's take a listen to that if we go down. He has uh, the link right here. You know what, actually, I think I've already got that open. Let's take a listen.
Now that single is a free download. You can uh, you can download that over at Noise Trade and then leave any kind of tip you'd like. Um, Noise Trade is a great place to find out about uh, new music. Um, so on his campaign page over here on Kickstarter, he's got the reward levels on the right. It's five dollars for a digital copy of the EP, ten dollars for that digital copy and a physical copy. Um, Twenty-five dollars, and that CD gets signed. And there's more. He's looking for six thousand dollars, and he is over a third of the way to go, and he still has another month left. So this campaign won't close until April 18th. If it sounds like something you'd be interested in, hit up the show notes for the links to the campaign page, his website, the Noise Trade page. If you uh, back it, or if you just want to feel like helping get more visibility for his campaign, post about it on Facebook, tweet about it and spread the word. Let folks know what uh, Ron Vincent is up to. All right, next up is Scott Fontenot in San Antonio, Texas. He's looking to raise funds for a worship EP and his goal is $6,500. He has raised over a thousand with still a month to go. This campaign doesn't end until April 24th. Now this is a flexible funding campaign with Indiegogo, which means that even if he doesn't meet the goal, he'll still be able to collect what was pledged. Let's see what he's got to say about this project. It's still like my probably all-time favorite, but um, shout to the Lord. And um, I just remember like hearing it and I was like, wow, like I want, I want to be like that. Like I want to be able to write something like that because it's, it just captures so much of uh, I don't know of like what like what your heart is feeling and I think it's a song that everyone can relate to. Worship is nothing but communication just through music and um, so whenever I'm singing or I'm worshiping um, it's just simply like pouring out you know everything I am or everything that I'm feeling going on. makes me think of the first time I ever led worship. Uh, I was terrified and um, I just remember my pastor saying, you can do it. And as much as I disagreed with him at the time, <laughs> I remember um, being in that moment, I thought to myself in that moment, I was like, wow, this is what I was created for. So $15 gets you an early download, $25 gets you the CD, and more. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, hit up the show notes for the links to his Indiegogo page. If you back it, or even if you just want to help him get the word out, get more visibility, post it on Facebook and tweet about it, and spread the word. Let folks know what Scott Fontenot is up to. And normally I like to take a look back at a campaign that's closed and provide an update, but instead, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the future. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking a look at some new campaigns for Kerosene Halo, which is Derry Doherty from the choir and Mike Rowe from the 77s, both fantastic bands and very good together. And Justified, which is more of a hard music. They kind of dropped off the face of the earth for a little while and uh, they got some new stuff coming out. So uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking a look at those campaigns. That's it for the campaigns this week. I appreciate you checking out this special episode, but uh, I want you to stick around for just a couple more things. If you liked the music and the theme song at the beginning of the show, it's Hypostatic Union by a Christian group out of South Africa called The X Structure. It's Creative Commons, and all their music right now is Name Your Price over at Bandcamp. Of course, the link is in the show notes. Head over. Stream some of their songs, take a listen, see what it's worth to you. Buy some of their music. Include a note that you heard about it on the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast. And don't forget to uh, head over to the the website itself for the crowdfundingchristianmusicpodcast.com website. Uh, over at that site, you can find all of the episodes. You can uh, see the show notes. So when I keep talking about that, that's where it is just expand out the uh, the post for each episode and it'll have all the show notes with the links to the campaigns and their videos and their web pages whatever I've got there um, 
I also have a calendar feature so you can see the campaigns that are about to uh, close so if you wanted to get in on that um, before it was gone like Bill Maloney's album um, he's got a pre-order going on for that right now um, so all of those uh, are in the calendar and then I've got a submission form so you can give me feedback so that can be about the podcast it can be about the website it can be about a campaign that I ought to cover and I haven't yet um, so there are a couple other ways you can engage with me I've got a page on uh, Facebook and Google Plus and uh, you can find the show on Twitter at the other CCM you can leave comments on the YouTube channel um, so I'd love to hear from you uh, I'd love to find out how you found out about the podcast if you like it and uh, I would ask that if this is your first time listening stick around for a couple episodes see what you think if you do like it tell your friends if you back a campaign because you heard about it here I'd love to know about that um, and uh, you can find it on iTunes or Stitcher wherever uh, if you do like it and uh, and you're subscribing somewhere I'd love it if you would rate us and maybe give us a review wherever you found it um, that's it so I'm Garrett Godfrey that's it for the week and I hope you have a good one <laughs>